All right, so now we're gonna walk, uh, work with some ratios. Uh, ratios can be written several different ways. Um, the, this here is talking about in a bag of Skittles, there are four yellow Skittles and eight red Skittles. And they want a ratio of yellow to red. So the first thing we can do is we can count the yellows, which they said were four, and we're gonna put them on top. And the red is eight. So that would be the first way we would write it. The second way we could write it is four colon eight, and that is red four two eight. So those are the three different ways that you can write a ratio. We usually stick with the fractions, and when you're writing ratios in a fraction, you do not have to simplify them. So on this first one, four yellows to eight red would be written exactly those ways, okay? Let's check the next one. It says, what's the ratio of red shapes to total shapes? So we want red to total. Total means count it all, even the red ones. So as you can see, we have two reds. And if we count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, we have eleven total. You could also write it to colon eleven or in words to two eleven. Okay? So that's how those go. Now, when you're trying to figure out what's equivalent to something else, so... Um, Pardon me, excuse the interruption, but all wrestlers need to report to the auxiliary gym at this time. All wrestlers need to report to the auxiliary gym at this time. Sorry about that. We had an announcement. Um, it's saying identify each ratio that is equivalent, which means equal to three to four. And what I would do is I would make them all into fractions. So I'm going to start with three to four. So I'm gonna put three divided by four, that gives me 0.75. So I'm gonna check the first one. Five divided by six does not match the three over four, so that is not equivalent. Let's go ahead and try the next one. So I'm gonna come back over here. Uh, we're gonna do four divided by three, definitely does not match. Let's try nine divided by 12. That gives me the exact same number, sorry about that, that I got when I took three divided by four. So this is equivalent to this because 0.75 is exactly the same as the 0.75 I got when I divided three divided by four, okay? So we've got three more to try. Let's go ahead and get rid of these um, if we can the ones that are here, because we know that those uh, did not work. So let's get rid of that one. And I'm gonna get rid of that one. Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and put in 27 divided by 36. Ah, that gave us 0.75. So we're gonna come right back over here and we have another one that's equivalent. All right, so we'll go here. Uh, let's nine over 12 worked. So I really doubt 12 over nine is gonna work. Nope, it sure did not. That didn't work, so we're gonna come over here and mark that one out as well. And then let's go ahead and delete that one and let's try the very last one. 18 divided by 24 gives us 0.75. Ms. Carol, if you're still in the building, we can do this uh, uh, appointment by phone. We just received a telephone call. <laughs> so there you go. We have Please three. Sorry about office. all the announcement, guys. So we have three that are equivalent to three, uh, the ratio three to four, okay? So whenever you're trying to find out if things are equivalent, just put them in the calculator as fractions and see if their decimal values match, all right?